today I want you to think about what are some of the kinds of things that civil engineers need to think about before they start building whatever structure it is that they're going to be building. What are some of those things they need to think about? Laura, what's something they might need to think about? They may need to think about what's holding up the bridge or something. What is holding structure up? So that would be one thing. Sam, what else might they need to think about? If it's stable or not. Is it stable? Ryan? Is it Sturdy. Nico? If it's strong. Is it strong? What else might they need to think about? I don't know because I How much weight can they hold on? Ah. <coughs> what about the forces? Do they have to think about that at all? Yeah. 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 A lot. So they have to think about what forces are pushing or pulling on the structure. Yeah, those are all things that the civil engineers need to be thinking about and asking about. So using what we know so far about civil engineers and civil engineering, we are going to start to think about bridge structures. You have to remember when we're thinking about is it strong, how much weight can it hold, we have to be making sure that we're asking all those questions. And today we are going to make three types of bridges so that we can test them and see how strong they are. This is in the asking part. We're thinking about what bridge is going to make the most sense. So we're going to try some bridges out so that you can be thinking about and trying to figure out what kind of a bridge is the strongest bridge. We are going to make them. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we are. We are. Yes, we are, as a matter of fact. Oh, Diana, but we only did three. Yeah. One, five, and next part is and they got Okay, so now we're going to try building the arch bridge. So remember, you need two index cards to make your arch and two index cards on top. Okay, the arch. So how many? I put four. Four. Really I'm definitely sure that the bridge. Oh, the bridge. The bridge. The bridge. Excellent. Like that one was sturdier. Okay, so now we're going to try building the deep beam bridge. So remember, you're going to put one flat, one flat, and then the two accordions. Eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. No. 14, 16, 27, 8, 30, 29, So which bridge do you all think is the strongest of the three bridges? Sam, what do you think? The deep beam. The deep beam. Then the arch bridge and then the beam bridge. The beam bridge is much stronger. Oh, well, and the beam bridge would be fine if you didn't have to go very far. The beam bridge would be great. So we've, yesterday we built some bridges to see how the materials that we were using yesterday would work. Now. What did you notice about those bridges that we built yesterday? Malik, the last one was really strong. Do you remember which kind that was, what that was called? 
beam bridge or something? Oh, you're very close. Nico. Deep beam bridge. Deep beam bridge. Exactly. Deep. That one was the strongest. Why do you think that bridge was the strongest? Zoe, why do you think? It had like an accordion it. piece of paper that was helping it um, stand up. And what happened when we just used the regular beam bridge? It, it collapsed. Just, uh, it collapsed. Look. It collapsed. Then, what about our, our um, group? Our, we fell down after 14. Ah, and, and not every group was exactly the same. Our group fell down on three. No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and what about the arch bridge? Cam, what did you notice about the arch bridge that you built yesterday? It, it, um, it took more than um, the, the beam bridge because it had another adjustment to help it stay up. The arch. Ah, ah, it had the arch which helped it stay up more than just the beam bridge. So in lesson three, they had to do the testing of the beam bridge, the deep beam bridge, and the arch bridge to see which was the strongest. And really, the, um, I wanted them to be able to do the testing because I think they all had in their minds ideas about which types of bridges would be the strongest. And I wanted them to be able to actually see and experiment with the bridges and see which one really was the strongest bridge. A couple of the groups, after we had done all three of the bridges, wanted to test and see if they made a few adjustments to the basic design that we had all used. If they made a couple of adjustments, would they be able to hold more weight? So the, I think the deep, it was with the deep beam bridge, and they changed where the abutments were, and they were able to hold almost twice as many um, of the metal weights as they were the first time, which they were just astounded by. They thought that was so fantastic. So I think in doing that lesson, kids had a lot of their own sort of learning experience. I wasn't telling them which was the strongest bridge. They were finding out for themselves and then wanting to make some modifications to make it stronger already, which was great. One of the things that they said in the book was how much stronger the, how the arch bridge was the strongest bridge. And yet when the kids did the lesson, most of them found that for them, the deep beam bridge was a stronger bridge. And I was not going to correct them or change their thinking in any way because they had tested it out. And they could very clearly see from the tests that they had done using the particular materials that we have available to us that without a doubt the beam bridge, the deep beam bridge was the strongest bridge. So if I then said to them, the arch bridge is really the strongest, they would be thinking, no, it can't possibly be. Look what happened. I went with what they said because they proved to me that in this particular situation, the deep beam bridge was definitely the strongest. Mm -hmm.